Tulum. So, me and my husband booked a last minute trip to Tulum, the tropical paradise in Mexico. I mean, why not, right? It's just a four hour flight from Toronto. And over the next 72 hours, we are going to be living it up, eating tons of tacos, loading up on guacamole, and exploring the best spots in town from restaurants to beach clubs to hotels. Oh, and heads up, there's going to be lots of firecrackers in the Mayan jungle. Welcome to Tulum. On behalf of your entire Toronto based crew, Air Canada Rouge, have a pleasant stay here in Cancun or wherever your travels takes you. And we have reached Cancun, not in Tulum yet because there's no airport in Tulum and for that we'll have to... So there are three modes of transportation to get to Tulum. Either you can rent a car which is very convenient or you can get one of these shuttle services which is cheap or you can get a private transfer just like us if you have a time crunch and this is definitely convenient too. And we paid 2200 Mexican pesos for this one way trip to Tulum. And we are finally in Tulum. Oh my god, this place. I'm already awestruck. It took us like two hours to get from Cancun airport. The drive was amazing because you see all the resorts on the way. But I was really excited about this place. And the hotel that we are staying at is this beautiful property named Kanan which is at a great location here in Hotel Zone. So if you ever plan to come to Tulum, then you'll get some recommendations. So checking in at the hotel was a breeze. They even gave us these cool bands showing we were official hotel guests. And then we were taken to our room. So your room number is 22. Whoa! Wow! This is so stunning. I can't wait to show it to you. But first, let's pop some champagne. Why not? Because we are in Tulum! Three, two, one, woo! Yes. yes! Right after, we changed and quickly went to their beach. Whoa! This is the beach club, guys! Thank you so much! Wow. I mean, just look at this spot right here. The first meal has to be Mexican. If you're in Mexico, you gotta have tacos. Wow, this was such a great start to our trip. Loved the food. I know we have had guacamole so many times in life but it just hits different here in Mexico. So today is our first day and we are just chilling here by this beautiful sea in front of us which is crystal blue. And the best part is the beach has white sand. I feel it's such a unique experience, we really need to check out the property. Mm-hmm. Let's go. And now it's time to go to the rooftop and I've heard it has really good views and some amazing food. This is definitely the highlight of this hotel. The rooftop. Wow. Look at this place right here. We're literally sitting in the nest overlooking the blue water and the best part about this place is it actually has two views. One which you can see right here and the other one there's this jungle view wow and also there's a guy playing saxophone right there this place has such an amazing vibe i don't know if the camera is doing any justice to this place i'm not even kidding the sunset was beautiful it literally feels like a dream it's the best drink right here in rooftop restaurant yeah <laughs> all right this is so tasty I wish I could give you a sip right now. Really excited for food. We've yeah, got the appetizer here. This is your salmon tartar. Wow. The fish, the avocados, everything is so fresh. Cheers yeah. to our first night in Tulum. This is actually a magical place, guys. I yes. mean, we couldn't have asked for more. I swear. It's like a pinch me moment. Yeah. <laughs> the sky is all pink and the views everywhere. It's so stunning. You've been here before, first time? No, it's the first time. Really? Yeah. Oh, welcome to Paradise. And it's beautiful. It's good energy, do you know? Good energy. Good jungle. Jungle feel. Yeah. Catch of the day, filet. 
Okay. This is a banana leaf. Oh. Inside, you can open. You can smell. It's very fresh. First of all, can we take a moment to appreciate the presentation? This looks so beautiful. The attention to detail. This is chamanguito, traditional from Mexico. Whoa, I can't even get up. I ate a lot because the food was so amazing. I would highly recommend this place, especially for a date night or something. Sit here, enjoy the views of the Mayan jungle. Since we are in the hotel zone, why don't we just walk around and see what the vibe is at night? I will take you along. Yes. Wow. The vibe is completely different at night. All the restaurants around are lit. It's all turned up here. But tonight we are going to this Greek restaurant, Ilios. And I've heard this match plates in the end, just like the Greek tradition. So let's do that tonight. Guys, I'm blown away by this place. It's massive. It's so beautifully made. The aesthetics are top notch. The music, the vibe all together. And we were thinking to sleep tonight. You can't do that in Tulum. Oh, what's happening? We came at the perfect time as they had the plate breaking ritual. We are all going to smash the plates. Later, the place transformed into a party. Although we were not that hungry, but we just had hummus and pita and it was the best hummus I've ever had. Wow, what an experience at Ilios. Like the entire vibe was amazing. Especially I love doing that opa and smashing the plates. If you're coming here, they start their live show like around 8.30 and at 9 they have like a fire show and at 10 is when they smash the plates. Yeah, right. I wish we had something like this in Toronto. I mean, mm. after 10 o'clock, it turns into like a party place. So it's our day two here in Tulum and we are starting our day with breakfast at Caracol here at Cullen. Gracias. We need the energy. The location is just perfect. Like we are right on the beach overlooking the Caribbean Sea. It's such a beautiful morning. Everything is grown in Mexico, guys. So when in Mexico, not only enjoy tacos, but enjoy fruit as well. This is to Caracol X. This is Mayan chili. Here you have here two banana pancake. Perfect. Hey, enjoy. Thank you. Hey, enjoy. Wow. I actually went with their recommendation and it's really yummy. Mm. This hotel is like a maze. You can seriously get lost in this magic land. So beautiful. Wow, look at this view. And oh, I forgot to tell you, Kanan is an adults only hotel, which is located right on the beach. And in the Mayan jungle, it has all the rustic elements, the aesthetics of this place. I mean, you have to come here to feel it. All the materials that they've used, it's all natural. Like literally there's wood everywhere. I don't see any concrete, nothing, and that's the entire vibe of Tulum. And we are at the beach club again. Wow! Every place you go to is Instagram worthy. And we have the popular Mexican beer, which is... Corona. Corona. I love the entire boho vibe of this place. The view is spectacular. They have multiple nests overlooking the Caribbean Sea. This feels so nice. Relaxing with the sea breeze. I'm loving it. This is way pop and chamango. Woo! They look pretty fancy. Every spot in the hotel is unique. You can take photos all day and night. Yes. on my mind. You will be transported to a different world. This is like a jungle temple. Like literally you can climb the tree houses, go to the nest, everywhere. It's just nature. We have been to so many destinations but this place like literally everywhere I look at it's like I'm in love. Even the pool is inside the jungle and they also have a swimmer pool bar which is pretty cool. There's also jacuzzi right here. Okay, we had a lot of fun at Karan Beach Club but now it's time to party at another beach club which is Tabu Beach Club here. Oh, Oh. 
honestly guys i was expecting a lot from this place but do i like it i don't know maybe it's the music it's the music for me so tabu beach club was pricey we paid 2500 pesos per person and the cover was only for 2500 pesos so half of it basically there were people enjoying but it was not my vibe at all and again we came back on our hotel rooftop We loved it so much that we simply couldn't resist another breathtaking sunset from here. What do we have here? We have mescal, guys. Sort of like tequila. I'm also trying for the first time. It's actually made from agave. It smells really strong. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. I don't do tequila, guys. This is just because I'm in Mexico and I really wanted to try mescal. <laughs> It's pretty smooth. Cheers. Ready for the night now. <laughs> Yeah. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, Hasta la vista baby. baby. The staff is like super friendly, guys. Ask for my love. My love. You can be here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. After taking some rest in our hotel, we are all ready, and we are heading to Gitanos, which is very popular for their Friday nights, which is called as Gypsy Fridays. It's a mescal bar. The best part about this hotel is that this is so close to all the popular places that we are going to, and Gitanos is just opposite. So it's just one minute walk from here. Now. So this place is on the pricey side, but the vibe. I mean, look at this. We are inside the jungle, and oh my god, I've never been to a place like this. We have some snacks here. We have the black truffle and mushroom, and guacamole. And the food here was fantastic with modern Mexican inspired dishes that was simply amazing. Friday nights bring the disco to the jungle. Wow. They also have some entertainment here. If you're in Tulum on a weekend, be sure to experience the electrifying Gypsy Fridays where you can eat, drink and dance all night under the stars. Later, it completely transformed into a nightclub. What a night! What a night at Gitanos. I'm feeling a little tired right now because of last night's madness. But all of our tiredness is going to go away because we are going to the Kumaru Spa. So basically, this hotel is a spa as well, and we are going for a couple's massage. Let's go. Ooh, look at the entrance to the spa right here. What is this place? <gasps> So many times we just exclude spa experiences yeah. in our itinerary, but I think this is a must-do when you are on a vacation. Today I'm in the morning and we are popping a champagne. Cheers. Cheers. We haven't even started the massages yet, mm. and I'm already feeling relaxed. <laughs> Enjoying some fruit here. All ready for the massage now. What is this? Sakli cacao. Oh, that's why. This is so relaxing. One of a kind experience. I slept in between. Yeah, me too. Already for the next two days now in Tulum. Yeah. We needed this. Oh, I just forgot. I didn't give you the room tour. So, welcome to our tree house. This room is so massive. Look at this. This place is all about being in the jungle, being in the nature. There are actually plants in the room. I've never seen a hotel room with plants inside like this. The bed is super comfortable and if you look at the roof, it's all made of like wood. All natural materials are used everywhere. Oh, you know what's the best part? Look at this beautiful washroom right here. I love all the detailing. The aesthetics of this place is just wow. And look at this shower area right here. And also, there's another thing: is this bathtub right in the room with this amazing forest view. And seriously, all the details, the vibe. And we also have a balcony here. 
We're right in the jungle, surrounded by all the trees, nature. This tree house is just perfect. And now it's time for breakfast and we are at a Hau Hotel and they have a really nice restaurant here which is called Roll Up Beach Bar and they have really nice smoothies, acai bowls, all healthy stuff. We've got some fresh coconut here. Badly needed this. Wow. It's the fruits. I'm telling you, it's the fruits in Mexico. And also chia seed pudding. Mm. Even this is so good. One of the best acai bowls I've ever had so far. And they use all organic stuff. Yeah. And they make their own homemade almond and coconut milk for coffee as well. Also, the restaurant area is pretty nice. It's so beautiful. And right now, we are sitting on the sand. Each place has a unique vibe. Highly, highly recommend this place. If you have ever searched Tulum, you have probably seen the iconic Venalu sculpture created by South African artist Daniel Popper. It's the most Instagrammed spot in Tulum located right at the entrance of Ahau Hotel with people often waiting in line for hours to take a photo. There's a normal entry fee but if you're staying at Kanan like I was, you get free access. Even the beach here in Tulum is stunning. White sand beaches with blue turquoise water. But yes, right now because of off season, there's a lot of seaweed. But the pro is you get all these properties at a cheaper price. You get reservations at every beach club, which I'm sure is hard to get during the peak season. Look at this. The sand is super soft and white. So we just came to I'm just saying the most popular to every place, but yes, it's the most popular place again, Rosa Negra. And we ordered some cocktails. They look all fancy. The entire vibe is great too. Dinner at Rosa Negra in Tulum is not a typical dining experience. What really sets it apart is the energy. The crowd was alive and dancing. It's a whole different experience. Everybody is in a stand on their chairs. You have to wait for this. If you're looking for more than just a meal, Rosa Negra is the place to be. You have to find a taxi. We're using Google Translate. Yeah, because they don't speak English. And you gotta make friends like Francesco. Yeah. What yeah. So that you can meet them again and again. Yeah. We had a great time at Rosa Negra. They had great music, great entertainment. Plus the servers were so hype that I think that just made it wonderful. And the food was good. Cocktails were really nice. But now it's what, 12? Yep. 12 and now we are heading to again one of the most popular parties here in Tulum. This one is on beach. Now we are at Playa Playa. Where is the party? For parties in Tulum, Papaya Playa project was at the top of the list. And let me tell you, the energy there was off the charts. The crowd was full of life, ready to party until the sun comes up. And if you're lucky enough to attend one of their full moon parties, it's a real treat. And it's a last day in Tulum, sadly. By the way, this is a very famous sign if you want to get pictures. Tulum, baby. This place is so cute. And the best way to explore is by biking around. And also the aesthetics of this place, like even the clothing stores, they're all boho. Come with empty bags and shop all the boho stuff here. And now we are headed to Bagatelle, which is a beach club. They have a jungle brunch today. We have reached. So last day, we just wanted to lounge on the sunbed, soak up the sun, chill by the beach, and Bagatelle was the ultimate place for that. And the highlight of Bagatelle is... Jungle brunch right here! Here the party people were out in full force, keeping the energy high, making sure everyone had a good time. So if you're looking for a brunch experience that's fun and full of surprises, definitely go to Bagatelle. It's a brunch jungle style. Done with Bagatelle. Yeah, bikes are actually very convenient. Like if you want to roam around, explore Tulum hotel zone, bikes can come in pretty handy. So this has been our routine. We go to the beach clubs during the day and then we come back, take a shower and then get ready for a night out. And now we are heading for dinner at a steakhouse which is called as Back Buck. I don't know, it's B-A-K. The best thing about all the restaurants here in Tulum is they have entertainment going on as you have seen throughout the video. 
So let's see what this place has done. And the service here was exceptional. Plus the food, oh my god, it was so yummy. Whoa, we just ordered the sliders and this is heavenly. Guys, I'm blown away with this place. It feels like I'm sitting in a jungle restaurant. Look up. I was not expecting Tulum to be that expensive. Like one dish is for like 40, 50 dollars. One drink is like 35 dollars Canadian. But you pay for the experience here. What experience are you talking about? Let me show you. Check this out. Oh. In the Maya tradition, the celestial What's happening? Now I feel we are in the jungle. This is where the jungle came to life. The beat of tribal drums with incredible fire dancers, jaw dropping acrobats, it was out of this world. and the fun doesn't stop there the DJs were spinning beats that will keep you dancing all night long and not to forget the sparklers they were everywhere the party never ends they actually give cotton candy with a bill like and to end our last night in Tulum with a bang we headed to Vagalum the music here was great and then we hopped to another place what is this entry? wow it's actually 2 o'clock we are literally club hopping now we are going somewhere deep inside the jungle didn't we have too much jungle experience? This is the last one, I guess. It's actually a nightclub. Okay, maybe we hopped a bit too much. We made it back to our hotel in the morning just in time for our flight. So, that was Tulum for you. This island refuses to be put in a box. For some, it's the Vegas of Mexico. For others, it's a wellness retreat. For us, it was a little bit of everything. The aesthetic, the food, the music, the vibe, the people. It was all wonderful. I've always been fascinated by this island and it definitely was a jungle dream. I definitely have to come back again since this was such a short trip and next time I'm going to visit the cenotes and explore more of the hidden gems in Tulum. Until then, I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye!